Ah. <laughs> they are everywhere. It's not everywhere. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, you know, that just so doesn't seem safe. But whatever. The can's in between me and a knife. That's true. Completely safe. You know, this is slits. kids aren't supposed to play with knives, you know. <laughs> I know you're well, like, what? This is not supposed to be like in the, in the kitchen then. I don't know. In the old days, in the pioneer days, didn't kids... Any, you know, actually there not, are... I mean, kids are supposed to have like pocket knives, right, though? Yeah, we should go watch some of the other kid video channels to see what they're like. Oh, that looks so good. I'm hungry. Hey, now that's definitely not safe. <laughs> and the, uh, what do you call it? It's wide open. The... <sighs> All right. Welcome to our messy kitchen. Not messy. Don't. Right now, we are just trying to survive. Surviving is a challenge because we are trying to build an online store. No, actually, we're just doing an online website first, and we're doing these video podcasts. We're creating. We're trying to do a lot. Videos, comma, podcast. If you want to see all the list of things that we are doing, go to Maker Support slash Krenet Eagle or something like that. But the best thing to do is to be a part of our community on Patreon. Patreon.com slash K E E. Looking over in our net for bringing in anything that allows people to support us. Well Patreon. to support not necessarily to support us, but to support our creating and sharing. Yes. And to Remember. also support the idea of helping you to learn about body language, speaking of which <laughs> you are you starving or something? Yeah, I'm really hungry. Didn't you have some of that rice earlier? A few bites of plain rice is not very much. That's true. Do you need to add any uh, flax seeds or anything to it? Mm -hmm. See, this is what happens when I'm not in the kitchen: is that he forgets to add all the nutritious stuff like green. I like quinoa, which actually is a lot of protein. Yes, quinoa does have a lot of protein. So he's shredding all the salmon up because he's going to add it to his rice. So whatever, the main thing that you always want to learn, we try to emphasize in all these, you want a starch or carbohydrate. You want a protein of some kind. If you don't eat meat, there's other proteins available. You can learn which vegetables have protein. Speaking, yeah. So all those white spots are from back in the day when we had some DE and we had a small cockroach problem and the eagle would slam the DE into the cockroaches. It worked really well. It did work very well. It was amazing. All right. Okay. Um, now, so we learned from this village place to using hands is actually uh, a pretty good idea. Well, I'm not actually a big fan of it unless you clean your hands beforehand, which he I did. I wash my hands. Well, them at least. You, yeah, I saw you wash them earlier, so. Although, what he's doing about eating and, and the don't ever, if you have company, don't ever do this. If you have, these are bad habits. So, yeah, learn from us. Don't do these bad <laughs> habits. And this is food, so, one, because it's hot, still. And also, two, because um, I'm trying to get, I want to get the water out. If I can. Because there's very enough liquid in here. Oh, you know what you didn't do normally? So, normally what we do is we add a soup. A can no, of soup I'm not to... adding a soup. I'm not making this soup. I'm making rice and tuna is what I wanted. So I soup. thought you were going to add the tuna to the whole rice thing. No. Well, that would have been nice. That way I could have had some of the salmon. I can do that, I guess. Here, I wanted to take a chunk of it and stick it back in there. Well, I just thought that way you'd spread out the salmon a little bit more. Just dump the whole plate in. No, I want to have some separate. So I guess I can dump... Yeah, dump, dump the whole plate. thing in. There. And then, alright, and then mix it in with the rice and then you have a bigger ratio. Remember, this actually the same isn't that expensive. Okay, but I do want you to have more food, so actually yeah, so put it all back, but just with, 
So I'm not adding soup to this. I want cheese to this. I'm I know, I know. Cheese to this. That's yeah. it. What I wanted when I originally envisioned it was rice mixed in with tuna uh -huh. with cheese covering it. I have here plus cheese covering it. Right. That's why I'm using okay. it. Not rice plus tuna plus soup with cheese. Right. No, I don't want soup. So you guys yeah. need to put a soup in it. No, there. no, I'm just saying that's what we used to do. We normally used to do. Oh, I see. Oh, oh I see what you're saying. You want it to be evenly mixed in. Yes. <sighs> Sorry. No, you don't have to do that anymore. Go ahead. You need more sure. protein than I do. Yes, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. We, we can add a second. I mean, we can open up a second one anyways. Uh, we don't have a ton of them, you know. But that's fine. That's fine. I I have other avenues. I have... I'm, he doesn't really eat the yogurt as much as I do, and so I live off yogurt, whatever I put in the yogurt. And peanut butter, bananas, apple, peanut butter, apples, banana, yogurt, and cereal. That's what you live off, yeah. yeah. And then we try to get more protein into Eagle, because he's a growing boy. I get, yeah, I take a vitamin nutrient. And when we have outside, we had a moringa plant that would grow. Did you know that moringa... Only need a teaspoon of that, and you get all your nutrients in a day. Yeah. So since he's a growing boy, you need um, kids need more nutrients, more protein. Men, if you are, if you have fathers and stuff, they don't need as much protein as kids do. Somewhere I read that um, okay, all everything I say, gotta go do your own research. Don't don't take my word for it. But anyways, so I read somewhere that adult males don't need as much protein as females or kids. That makes sense, right? Young males, yeah. I think it also depends what you do for a living, though. How active yeah, you how are. Yeah, how stressful you are, too. How stressed you are, yes. Although the more stressed you are, the less nutrients you absorb, or so I've heard. Which gives you need to eat even more in order to absorb the same amount of nutrients, technically. Yeah, but usually what ends up happening for stressed out people is they end up eating too much carbohydrates and they right, okay. right. and they um, they end up becoming overweight from lots of donuts, <laughs> lots of donuts. Even yeah. even just regular meats and cheeses. If they eat, if they stress eat, then they yes, lots of people do. They lots of people lots of people stress eat. Yeah. Okay, check your that, shoulders. Don't check is, your shoulders. Means, check your body. If you don't know what stress me, stress eat means, it's um, when you eat when you're stressed. I eat all the time. Well, it could also be like what I do when I'm really stressed. I'm not hungry. That's not stress eat. That's the opposite of stress eat. Well, but it's it's a habit that gets created from the stress. So you, it's a Some reaction sort of to the stress. Related habit. Yes. Well, that's, that's what's not to be. Definition, I All right, I'm about to run out of batteries. It's at seven percent, uh -oh. so yeah. um, gonna he's going to stick that in the microwave, microwave and um, maybe I'll plug this thing in and I'll let you see the final result in a second. Yum. 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 Delicious. Yum. Bye, guys. Batteries out almost. Make sure you. Uh, oh, you know, a little sprinkle of green would be really nice. Mm. Please put some sprinkle of green. Oh.